Hi, this is Casey, and we missed recording the left zipper application, so I'm going to do a do-over here, and hopefully it'll all come out okay. So we started with two pieces of fabric. Um, they suggest that you edge finish um, the raw edges of the seams. Now I have a serger, so I did one side with the serger, but you can also do it with some of the utility stitches on your machine if you have them. This is one that's kind of got some stitches going this way, but then it also makes a kind of a V to overlock that edge with the regular sewing machine. Um, I did try just using a regular zigzag um, and it seems to kind of curl the edge. So I would not recommend that. Um, if you are gonna do a zigzag, if you have a multi-step zigzag, that's what this one is, is a multi-step zigzag and that should work out better for edge finishing and it just keeps it from raveling. So, so we've got our, the edges of our seams finished and we're going to, uh, the first step is to close up the seam. Um, this is for an application for like a, a side zipper that might be in a garment. Um, you can also use this for pillows. And this would be where you sew um, a regular seam on one side, based in the middle, and then sew the balance of it as a regular seam. Um, and that way, this lap zipper will be kind of in the middle of that seam. You can also sew where you baste from the top, say, of the skirt band down to where it's the um, seam and then sew a regular stitch for, um, for the seam from there down. That can also work. All right, so to figure out the inseam one, we're going to put the zipper laid on top of the fabric. And normally you would have notches um, that would show you where your zipper should go. I am just putting this in a piece of scrap, so I'm just going to mark the end of the zipper tape with one pin and the head of the zipper tape with another pin. Now, this is an antique zipper because it has, um, it was in a package from uh, 1954. So uh, it has an interesting end here. Um, where the zipper has like a metal, an extra metal piece in it. Um, we don't do those kind of things anymore because it's probably too expensive to make it that way. So anyhow, that's established where I'm going to stitch my regular stitch, kind of baste in between and then stitch my regular stitch. Okay. Uh, regular stitch. I'm going to go at 45 uh, eighths of a seam allowance. We stop just right to the pin. I'm going to do a little back stitch. Go forward, switch it to the basting stitch. Take out my pin and baste to the other pin. There. Now we're going to switch to the shorter stitch, which one back and then forward. There we go. So that is stitched and then basted. And you can press this open. I don't have an iron handy to me, but you can press this open. 
I'm just gonna finger press it open. What you're gonna do is take the zipper now and lay it face down between where the regular stitching is and the basting. So this is the regular stitching starts there. You put it there. I'm just going to put a pin at the top here. Oh, one thing I forgot is that they have you open the zipper. And I'm do that I'm sorry, on this side. And you have it lay it right so the zipper teeth are right along that seam. And we have to switch to our zipper foot. Okay. And starting up here, you can sit right along that zip, put it down. Back stitch, couple stitches, and then stitch forward. You're stitching your teeth right along the edge there. One other tip was to go with the needle down and lift it and then kind of pivot so that you can get the zipper out of the way and then you put it back down and continue sewing. Back stitch. What's that? Okay, now you flip this over so that all of the material is to this side and you've got the zipper um, folded that so that seems that sounds is folded with those and so you just have this little fold here and that's where we're going to top stitch so we're going to switch sides with our foot and we're going to top stitch that down. Make sure I'm keeping everything out of the way. Again, put your press foot down. 
Needle Valley. Press the foot up. Move the slide back down. Now this is the part that's different than everything else I've ever seen is that you open it up and you lay it flat down. With the zipper closed. So now we want to take the stitch there. We want to flop this back over the, um, the whole seam allowance. And now we're going to basically top stitch or put the, the, the top stitching. Uh, we're going to go across. We're going to go from this row of the furthest right row of stitching starting there, go across and down and then back over to that stitching again. And you should end up right at this seam with a nice uh, finished top stitching. Mine should be bright orange, so we should be able to see it pretty well. We'll see how we do. Um, because I'm going to be stitching along the zipper, I'm going to keep the zipper foot on. And I'm going to start at that. I'm going to start one stitch in front of that uh, orange stitching I have. And I'm going to go back one, two. So I'm on it, and now I'm going to go forward. Turn. Down the other side. And get to the top. Put our needle down. We'll turn. Move that down and stitch across the top. So make sure we do that. Go to my orange stitching, which is the first row of stitching that I've done. Go back. Out and hope I did like it wanted it to. There we go. So you can see my orange. Oh dear. So um, this machine seems to be, for whatever reason, reading some loopies uh, from the needle thread, which I will have to problem solve with my daughter. But um, barring the loopies, we have a nice um, pocket and I will open it up the basting stitches here. Let's see. Let's see the end of the zipper tab on it. There's my zipper tab. And there's my left zipper. 
open it up, hide it behind there. And get the camera to focus. You can see I have a nice hidden lap zipper. Okay.